Hi Max. Hi Marcel. Diese ganzen additive in Dünger, Power Roots, Power Buds, das sollte man meinen, könnte man weglassen. Das könnte man meinen, ja. Ich grau selber schon seit ewigen Zeiten mit Placron. Mhm. Und die Firma Bertels und die Firma Grauberg sind über die Jahre jetzt auch ähm, unter anderem aus dem Fakt heraus so ein bisschen miteinander verwoben. Mhm. Wir drehen Produktvideos, um einfach mal rauszufinden, was ist denn drin und macht das überhaupt Sinn? Genau. Ja, die Videos sind in welcher Sprache? Die sind zum Glück auf Englisch, man kann es ganz Europa verstehen. Man kann es ganz Europa verstehen. Ein Deutscher, eine Rumänin, noch ein Deutscher und ein Holländer, da kommen die wildesten Sachen bei genau. raus. Das Ergebnis ist, dass ihr genau wisst, was ist drin und wofür braucht man es. Das komplette Video ist mit? Äh, mit deutschen Untertiteln. Mit deutschen Untertiteln. Da haben es unsere deutschen Zuschauer dann ein bisschen leichter. Heute geht es um? Power Buds. <lacht> It's always a pleasure to talk with you. Um, Alina from Research and Development. Today we are talking about Placon Power Buds. This is a new product, uh, not so new anymore. Uh, so it's from 2022? 23, sorry. <laughs> so it's two years old. Two years no? old. Yeah, time and flies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah. yeah, time flies, but our customers still have a lot of, que of questions about power buds because mm -hmm. the promise is mm -hmm. huge. And we need to talk about, the, uh, the, we, need, we want to build some trust in the product. So what mm -hmm. does power buds do? Yes, so power buds uh, is our first biostimulant. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, in easy words, what we claim, and what it does actually, it is increasing the number of buds uh, yeah. and it speeds up the flowering. Yeah, so two yes. in one. Uh, two in one, it's yes. It's increased yes. the amount of buds yes. and it's, uh, the flowering stage is a bit shorter. Yeah, it's still shorter so you can harvest earlier because mm -hmm. it, yeah, your flower is uh, bloom faster. Okay, Yeah. these are interesting promises. Alina, first question. The first question is very important for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A biostimulant and PGR, uh, plant growth regulator, mm -hmm. this is the same? No, this is a huge difference between PGRs and biostimulants. A huge difference? A huge difference, yes. Okay, can you tell me in detail what is a biostimulant? Yeah, so a biostimulant is a molecule uh, or a microorganism that you apply to the plants uh, and then it changes the natural processing, uh, processes within a plant. But when you apply a PGR, mm -hmm. uh, mostly those are hormones, mm -hmm. uh, you affect the physiological uh, uh, processes in the plant. So yeah. you change actually the appearance uh, of uh, like, like force appearance, you, fo you force the plant to change its appearance. Yeah. So like to make it easy, um, um, yeah, I, I will take the human body. Uh, so you are going to the gym, yes? Mm -hmm. so, and you want to build muscles. Mm -hmm. uh, you can build muscles, muscles uh, in the natural way. <laughs> so you are may maybe taking some amino acids so, or some supplements, like natural supplements, yeah, just to have more uh, muscles. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can take the steroids. Mm -hmm. uh, and steroids, uh, you build up muscle much quicker, but it's not very natural, it's more forced. So think of that as a PGRs. Yeah, as, yeah. <laughs> a plant growth regulator, right? Indeed, yes, a plant growth regulator. And these hormones are chemical, right? Yes, are chemical uh, substances, indeed, yeah. And you wouldn't recommend something like that in a product, what you eat or what you indeed, smoke, yes, as example? Indeed, indeed, no? yes. That's why uh, also the regulations are so strict when you are using the PGRs. So you cannot use PGR for the, yeah, the end product that you are consuming. Ah, yeah, so it's yes. not so easy cheesy. I'm ah, using no, a PGR indeed. and I don't let no, the people no, know about that. No, I have no, no. Okay. Yes, so the PGR is going to a very strict regulation. So in Europe, it's very hard to uh, have a PGR, for example. Okay. Yes, it's so, not allowed. <laughs> it's a biostimulant. Yes, it is a biostimulant. That is one of the main messages about Placon power buds. Yes, and um, maybe also here it's important to uh, know that um, uh, it's our f first uh, uh, 
product registered as a biostimulant. Yeah. Uh, and it's not so easy to register a product as a biostimulant. Because Why you, is that so? Yes, because you have to prove to the notified body or bodies or the people that are doing the registration of the biostimulant that yeah. really works. And that you have to perform experiments on the plant. Oh. Uh, and not only one experiment, you have to perform three, diff, two, three uh, uh, experiments, so three, uh, yeah, three times the same experiment mm -hmm. uh, and to have the same outcome. And once you have the same outcome, then you can prove them that indeed this it works as a biostimulant mm -hmm. and indeed this works as we claim. For example, increases the num number of buds and also speeds up the flowering. Yeah. So we performed this uh, uh, experiment um, three times and we had the same outcome. So we were, uh, yeah, we managed to register as a biostimulant. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Yes, and yes. Uh, with a plant growth regulator, it was not possible to get that license. Yes. I call it license. Indeed, yes, no? yes. So okay. it's not so easy to register a product as a biostimulant. You have to go through a lot of processes. Mm -hmm. There are some more benefits when you are using power buds um, during the cultivation, or um, is that what you already named? Yeah, it's what already uh, named. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's also important to know that you uh, are. Um, Uh, having this, those benefits in a hormone-free way mm -hmm. and in a healthier way. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and what are the benefits in the final product? Uh, yeah, so uh, you can harvest in very uh, much earlier. So mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and also the yield is increased with the power buds because mm -hmm. you also uh, we have more buds uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the end product. Yeah, uh, and uh, also the the qual quality of the product remains the same or much better. So it also stimulates the because it stimulates the natural processes in the plant. That is the interesting part of the question yeah. because I understand this like it's increased the yield and mm -hmm. um, it's shortened the flowering stage, mm -hmm. but is increasing even the quality of the end product that is what you it's increasing or stays the same as you are harvesting much later ah okay yes mm -hmm. yes so for example yeah because the it's also the terpenes and, and also everything it's also speeding up so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so then we have three benefits with power buds. Um, yeah, but we also only claim two. <laughs> Because okay. what, uh, this is what we prove for also for the notified bodies and also during our experiments when we registered as a biostimulant. Yeah. This is what we proved. Yeah, yes. okay. Uh, spontaneous question. Here at Placon mm -hmm. you will never use a PGR. Additive, no, no, right? no, we, not, no, we don't have uh, PGR additives, yes. Okay, so then. Yeah. <laughs> um, me as a fan of irrigation systems, mm -hmm. can you use power buds in an irrigation system? Power buds you can use, yes. yes great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is stable, yes, in, uh, in the nutrient solution. Okay, and can it uh, also be used for other substrates or growing methods than soil? Uh, yeah, we uh, recommend for uh, each t uh, every type of growing, uh, mm -hmm. for in a peat, in a cocos, in a hydrological culture. Uh, so power buds is suitable for uh, each growth, and we test it for each uh, for different growths. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we had uh, very positive results. Okay, next yes. spontaneous question: um, For each type, sometimes it makes sense to put some mineral additives, even in an organic grow, right? Yes. So if I'm using mm -hmm. algae grow and algae bloom, I still can mm -hmm. use power buds. For sure, yes. With the For same sure. benefits. Yes, because it's a biostimulant, it does not contain NPK at all. It does not contain nitrogen, phosphor, potassium. Okay, so then, uh, then, then I remain still uh, organic. Yes, if um, I'm using that, it's not like it's not. Clean. It's a synthetic molecule. It's mm -hmm. not an organic molecule. It's a synthetic molecule, but uh, yeah, it's uh, part of the plant itself. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Pretty interesting. So indeed, can be uh, used in combination with organic uh, cultivation or mineral cultivation. It will not, uh, power buds will not affect uh, anything in the soil, for example. It will not disturb the, the microlife in the soil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now I have here one liter of power buds in my hands and I ask myself, how many liters of nutrient solution can I get with that liter? Yeah, you can uh, make uh, 1,000 liters of nutrient solution. It's always 1,000. Yeah, because we advise 1 milliliter per liter of yeah, nutrient solution. So always consider how much you need for a liter of water, how many additives you need um, for a liter of water if you are looking for any kind of pricings, right? Yeah. It's even good for the environment. Oh, uh, yeah, don't for need sure. So yeah. Much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, the lab. 
we need to talk about the lab. Do you send the final mm. product to the lab? Or how exactly does this process work to ensure the product quality with power buds? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes, so uh, we are doing some uh, internal uh, check uh, checkups. Um, so we are measuring the pH, EC, density again. Uh, and we are also sending the product to ex external analysis uh, to see if there's some um, yeah, if what we checked is correct, mm -hmm. just to have like a double uh, check. Yeah. Uh, and we are also doing the stability um, test for the product. So we are uh, putting uh, samples to room temperature, 40 degrees, 50 degrees, and then we are checking at uh, different uh, moments in time. After um, first, after two weeks, three weeks, to see if something is changing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after a um, couple of months, yes. And uh, we are always checking uh, the, the visual appearances, uh, if it has fungus or not, mm -hmm. uh, especially because the product is so simple and does not have such a lot of buffering, does, does not have NPK. Mm -hmm. So then the stability for this product is very um, important for us. So we mm -hmm. are putting a lot of effort in the quality to check the quality of the product. Yeah. So yes. why the guy is all the time asking about the lab and quality checks of any kind of products because it's different from product to product. Indeed, yes, yeah? it's different from product. Yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. So you have your own plan and your own way to do it to ensure the mm -hmm. product quality with every product. Yes. So I will get you that question more often during the day. Good. <laughs> we were talking about power buds. You can use it um, for all kind of growing, organic, mineral growing, hydroponic. Uh, and from personal experience, it works. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alina. Yeah. Alina, I <laughs> met you one, two years ago. Yes. And you was working in a very interesting deep water culture project with mm -hmm. organic fertilizer. Mm -hmm. That was really amazing. Now I want to talk about you. What is mm -hmm. your position at Placon? Uh, yeah, I'm a plant uh, specialist uh, at Plachrom. Mm -hmm. uh, I started doing uh, research uh, on plants. So actually I was test testing um, the products mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, in our um, uh, in-house um, mm -hmm. uh, growing room. Uh, but we also perform different experiments with uh, universities uh, and with other parties on different crops. Uh, the University of Prague as example. Yes. Um, Wageningen, not directly, but mm -hmm. uh, with third parties yes. involved. Yeah. Um, so this is pretty interesting and you are a real scientist. What is your study? Uh, I have studied um, biotechnology. Biotechnology? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. You are dangerous. You, create wep you are creating <laughs> weapons. Weapons for plant growth. Uh, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, I have a master degree in plant breeding. Mm -hmm. Pretty interesting. Yes. Thank you very much for the time. Also, thank you. Thank yeah. you. It was Dankeschön. a pleasure. <laughs>